Well, guys, I want to give y'all a little update. Got in here yesterday and painted her. Probably going to have to go back and put a second coat on. But this probably ain't going to show up good, but it's kind of a light beige with a white ceiling. You know, I got I still got to trim around these. It's still just prime there, so. I guess it took me a couple of hours, you know, I see some white spots on that. I kind of got in a hurry, that was the last panel I did, and I was ready to go to the house. A little bit there. This, uh, this, this is DC plywood. And I don't know if this will pick it up, but that's pretty rough right there. And I don't know what the other side looked like, but this one had them lines in it too. Some of the panels was fairly smooth, like this one. And then some of them had some pretty deep grooves in them. It's kind of hard to feel. I had a big paintbrush and I just I brushed it all on. I didn't roll it. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to have to have a second coat because I uh, see a lot of white shine through, especially right in there. So I'm going to uh, work on that today. I don't think the ceiling really, the ceiling could use a second coat, but it don't look bad. And the ceiling was by far the worst paint because my arm was cramping something fierce. Now this one right here, this is real bad. Yeah, I would definitely put the wrong side down on this one. Well, that's, that's pretty rough uh, all down through there. So, But anyway, I had to be cheap. I couldn't afford the AC. I used the AC on the front here. And of course, it looks like crap since I busted it right there. But AC is definitely a lot smoother and easier to paint than BC. And actually, this BC was meant for underlayment. But I wonder who uses quarter inch underlayment because that shit ain't going to stay. So, uh,. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to patch the ceiling here, cut out and patch a piece, but i got plenty of this uh, scraps left. I, if I have to do that, I can, but that is awfully, awfully soft. I can about stick my finger through it right there, so that looks like a rafter, and there's a rafter, and here's a rafter, so I might have to cut that out. I don't really want to because that's going to be ugly, but anyway, we'll see how it goes when I get some primer on it. Of course, that's going to be on down the line because I've got to uh, finish painting, clean the floors good, put my table back in here, build a uh, table for my grinder, then move this heavy-ass saw. It was all we could do to slide this saw down here. I actually got caught on this damn water hose right here. And uh, I ended up just taking that loose, but now that we've got calves to water, I had to put it back. That's uh, going out to the calf water. And uh, it's on the shut off. It's on there, right there. So, yep. But anyway, I wish I could have used my paint sprayer, but <clears throat> I bought two gallons of the color and a one gallon of the white, and I've used about a quart on this ceiling and a little over a quart on these walls with one coat so I'm probably going to end up using about a little over a gallon to paint everything which won't be well it'll be well it won't be quite as much paint in here with this doorway but uh, I do want to do something a lot more radical under this table here. I'm going to put me some cabinets in or something put doors on it. So that's all going to be different. And I've kind of gathered up my scrap. <clears throat> pile of scrap iron here. Old saw blades and shit that's rusted out. And motors that don't turn and you know, a bunch of scrap. Got a big old pulley there. I may save that for 
project. And uh, of course that wire is good. We either set it over the trash can when we go to box meet up, we'll set the box on the wire on the trash can and it's right handy. But I may end up doing something different, I don't know. I don't really like the trash can being right here. So I ain't really decided, but I know this has all got to come out because it is in bad, bad shape. But hopefully the framing is in good enough shape. I'd like to put a couple of doors here and then I'll, uh, build a wall right here and put a door here. So I'll have three doors and uh, that way you can kind of put stuff in there and keep it out of sight. Well, that's the update. I've got to go feed some cows and uh, get in here and go painting.